record. Hey, now it's time for your daily dose of positivity. Paul, take it away. <laughs> I love it. Got to be positive. Positivity. You Good job, bro. All right. The Tokyo Paralympic Games continue in full force with a distinct Arizona Wildcat flair on Team USA. Get this. Four players representing the U of A Adaptive Athletic Department are battling for a medal in women's basketball. We are talking co-team captains Darlene Hunter and Natalie Schneider and Josie Oslikson and Courtney Ryan. I had the chance to spend some significant time with Josie and Courtney as they prepped for this very moment. Courtney Ryan and Josie Oslikson have put in countless hours to perfect their skills and achieve the ultimate dream, competing for Team USA and battling for a medal in the Tokyo Paralympics. It's an honor to be able to represent Tucson University of Arizona. As I said, uh, I love Arizona, love Tucson. It brought me back here and to be able to be a part of that and represent for our program is a huge honor. Courtney Ryan played collegiate soccer in Denver until at the age of 19, a blood clot burst in the middle of one of her games. She was paralyzed from the belly button down. You know, I can see my younger self cheering me on and excited for this opportunity. An opportunity to go from soccer to wheelchair basketball and now competing at the ultimate world stage. It was a huge uh, moment for me to have that, you know, I athletic identity back again. An identity of sport, purpose, and teamwork. Teamwork alongside Josie Oslikson, who suffered a spinal cord injury after a car accident at the age of five. But that has not held her back. When you work so hard to get better at the sport, and then you feel like you finally got there to where the people that you look up to now are your teammates, it's a really cool feeling. Describe once again what it means for you to represent the United States of America. Honestly, sometimes it's a speechless. I'm speechless to be able to be able to represent Team USA. Hey, Peter Hughes, the athletic director at the University of Arizona for Adaptive Athletics, has certainly done an awesome job there. Needless to say, he is beaming with U of A and Team USA pride. There's a Paralympic watch party going on as we speak as Team USA and all of the Tucson connections are gearing up to see the game against China for a chance to advance to the gold medal matchup. Hey, uh, U of A football preps, they continue for the opener against BYU tomorrow. Or, uh, Today they continue, but the game will be on Saturday. Actually, don't forget we have interviews with players and coaches on KVOA.com. In-depth coverage, the injury report and depth charts are expected to be released by the U of A tomorrow. Also, we will check in with more players as they get set to hit the road for the game in Las Vegas. And a quick props to the Pima College women's and men's soccer programs. Both remain unbeaten so far. South Point grad Francisco Manso scored twice as the third-ranked men beat Glendale 7-zip. And on the women's end, five different players scored in the Aztec victory. And they all have Tucson connections. Saurita grads Mari Acosta and Leticia Espinosa. Saguaro's Nayeli Vidal. Twyla Himmel, a grad from Ironwood Ridge. And Sunnyside's Seti Valenzuela or Valencia, that is. That's it for now. I'll pause to see Colin. We'll be right back.